Hello, uh, welcome. In this lecture, I'd like to uh, design a single span uh, truss bridge. So let's go ahead and start with the, uh, a new project using a shell design template right here. Okay, once that opens up, uh, go on to the right, right of the screen up here. Uh, click on the library of structures and in here once this window opens up click on uh, drop down uh, menu and go to library of typical structure frame and uh, trusses and once we have a trusses let's pick this middle truss this will fit the one that I want to design which I'll show you in a minute and click OK and you will see another window opens up which is right here and what I really want to do is uh, mimic this um, this truss right here and let's say this truss is about 100 feet long and we have uh, 10 joints so each one of them be 10 feet and let's go up to 25 feet tall and one thing I want to do here is uh, make this truss a little bit wider than what it is make it a 30 feet so we can put two a 12 foot lane that makes it 24 and then leave six for the for three foot shoulder on each side or put a big shoulder on one side all right, let's get to work. Uh, let's go back to uh, uh, robot right here. And now we're here, and let's put our dimension in. We said it's going to be 100 feet long, so it's going to be 100 feet at the bottom. And then your top cord, which is the length, it's going to be uh, 80 feet. And our height is going to be 25. And number of joints going to be 10, number of fields. And yes, continuous cord. Uh, that's to make sure there was a click right there. And next, we want to go ahead and click on more right here. And in the distance D1, just type in five feet. And uh, click away, and then click on sections. Let's go ahead and change this section, give it a little better section. Top cord, and go ahead and click on this edit menu right there. And you will have this new window opens up. And this is based on uh, AIC, um, AICS uh, uh, 15th edition steel manual has all these uh, sections in there. If you are from Europe or other countries or someplace else using matrix system, that's fine too, not a problem. You have just the different sections. And so here we're going to go ahead, you go to W section. And a W section is right here. And I want to go ahead and top chord. I want to the W16. So W16 uh, by 89 right there sounds good. And let's click that OK. And let's go ahead and do the bar lower chord and make a W18 here. Same, same, same thing. W18 OK. Let's go 80 by 97 is good. And click OK. And now then you go to the diagonal. And I want to go to double to 12 by 50 on that one. Come back up here. 12 by uh, 53 sounds good. OK. And then the post. I want to make the beef those up a little bit. Uh, make them a W 12 by 50 also. Click OK. So now we got all this done. Let's click Apply and click OK. Here's our truss. And um, you can go ahead and click on down bottom here where it says Section. Click on this section, Shape. And you can see it in this section. So what I want to do right now, I want to duplicate this everything right here, but put it away 30 feet. Now look at the coordinate. When we're doing a, a robot, you have a coordinate x y and z your x is going basically from here from right here to left and your y is going into the screen and z is your height right here so we want to go in a y direction about 30 feet i'm going to go ahead and uh, hold the control and say control a and once you hit control a it will select everything then come back up here uh, click on edit and go into uh, uh, move or copy command and you end up with right this here 
Again, we said we want to move it to 30 feet, so we got to put a dimension in. And the x is going to be 0. We're not going to move it in x, 0, 0, 0.00, comma. In the y direction, we're going to move 30 feet, so it's going to be 30.00. And in the z direction, also, it's going to be 0, because we're not doing anything in that direction. Make sure you have copy right here selected. And then click Execute. Then Close. And now, go ahead, hold the Shift key. Push down on your mouse uh, wheel. And you can rotate it. And you can see we already have the double of them, one on the other side. OK. The next thing I want to do, uh, let's go back in our uh, look at our picture. And uh, we want to. I want to put the uh, bottom uh, section of in, which is your uh, floor beam, your uh, 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 cross brace, and then your stringers. And if you look at these um, typical uh, uh, section uh, from uh, courtesy of historic American engineering record, you can see right here below the deck you have. Uh, once you have your uh, right here is your uh, lower cord, bottom cord. And then you have the floor beam going across. Then between the floor beam, you have the stringers. And then across of them, you have these um, uh, uh, Lara uh, uh, brace for uh, uh, wind and earthquake. Anyway, so let's go back to our uh, program again. And I want to lay those out. So go ahead and down here where it says click on XZ. Uh, no, I lied. Let's click on uh, XY. There we go. So now we're here, I want to put the uh, floor beam in. Come up in here on the right side, select uh, bar, and then come in here in the drop down menu, select beam. And let's see if we have uh, what I'm looking for uh, 18. Yeah, I can use W18 by 97, that's fine. If you don't have it, you can go ahead and click this edit menu, and then you have this. Uh, opens up and from here you can select it. It's the same thing. So now I have a 18 by 97. I'm going to go ahead and put one right here and click one right here. There it is. And the next one is going to be 10 feet away. Let me close this up so I can see it. The next one is going to be 10 feet away right there. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, um, strings in between these two. So I'm going to have the string. I want to use W uh, 12 by uh, something, I might have it here. 12 by 65 sounds good. And if you don't have it, you can go ahead and uh, select it from here. And I want to put those two of them in there, one at 10 feet, one at uh, 20. No, I want to put, well, let me kind of escape here. Put one at 20. There it is. We're good. And next thing, I only want to put some cross brace in the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and select a simple bar. Where did it go? And select an L by, uh, I don't have any, so I'm going to go find one. Yeah, I do. L5 by 5 by 0.75. That's good. And if you don't have it, just click the three bar right here. And you go in down here, and it says a section right there. It says family C. Change that to a L section or W, whatever you want. And then you come in down here, and you pick the size would you like. Let's pick another size since we are here. L5 by 5 by uh, uh, 0.625. OK. And add, close. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and use those. So I'm going to put one right here and put one right here. One the other way. We good to go. So let's close this. Now we're going to do this all the way across here. So what we're going to do here, come back and um, select all the stuff that we did. Um, so select this member and then uh, hold the control key down. While holding the control key down, select this member, select this member, select this member, select this member, and select. This member right here and we want to move this all the way across so there we said there was 10 sections there so you got nine more to go come up up here click on uh, edit again go to the move and copy command and we're going to go ahead and say yeah go every 10 feet so we're going to put 10.00 comma 
0 0.00 comma 0, 0 0.00 that's our coordinate and make sure the copy is selected and type here and the number of repetition type in 9 and execute let's see if we did it right yeah worked out good so there it is and let's close this and you can see it and now we'll go ahead and hold the shift key and push on a wheel on your mouse and then you can rotate this and take a look at it and you can see it Oop, there it is so there we have right this we got the bottom part done but before we continue i'd like to put a deck over this uh, if you uh right, so this is our thrust right here and um it's 80 800 feet and each joint is 10 feet apart 25 feet tall and 80 feet on top but when you look at from the top look at the plan view we're looking at right here i want to set this coordinate for all four corner northeast corner is going to be zero 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 southeast going to be hundred zero zero southwest hundred thirty zero and northwest zero thirty zero so if you look at from the top the roadway will be um, this will be center line of center line of your roadway and you're gonna have uh, two uh, 12 foot lane uh, plus uh, some shoulder so if you had to draw a white line it would be basically your white line gonna be right here and uh, this is the surface of your uh, bridge deck and that's 30 feet uh, one thing you gotta remember the our bridge seat right here where our bearing sits on it's at elevation zero zero so once we build this uh, truss and we have to go ahead and put uh, um, a floor beam and stringer and all our uh, lateral bracing underneath when you come and put the deck on top of it your deck is going to has to be sitting on top of the beam so this elevation for your deck is going to be changing it's going to be zero zero one point five because our beam is going to be 18 inches Anyway, but one other thing I need to, uh, we need to know is uh, I need to know the corner of this point right here where I want to have my, one of my cross bracing set uh, 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 sit on it. So uh, basically, simple triangle. We have a 10 feet by 20, and then we're going to calculate theta. Tangent theta is equal 20 divided by 10, which is equal to, and I'm going to come into this little triangle, do the same thing. I know my angle, I know this, I don't know this, my x has become 2.5 feet, so it's 7.5 feet from here to get to that point. And we will use that when we go ahead and uh, uh, put many. Uh, we want to put the deck on top of this. Let's go back to a different dimension right here, x, y, and we can go ahead and um, from this view uh, draw the outline for the bridge deck. We're going to go ahead and use the uh, um, command right here called polyline contour and uh, up here make sure the contour line is selected and click the geometry and the code the thing we're going to put in we're going to start go ahead and put our coordinate in so it's going to be 0 0.00 comma and it's going to be 0 0.00 comma and again remember we selected w18 so we're going to go ahead be 18 inch above the uh, bridge seat so our deck basically sits on top of the steel. So I'm going to hit 1.50. That's 18 inches. Okay, add. And then we're going to put the other coordinate on the other end in. And that's going to be uh, 100.00 comma. 0 0.00 comma 1.50. Click add. And let's put in the la south. That'd be south, east, southwest. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 100.00 comma, um, 30.00 comma, and uh, 1.50. And click Add. And finally put the last coordinate in. That will be uh, 0, 0.00 comma, 30.00 comma, and 1.50. Click Add. Don't hit apply yet. Kind of review this, make sure you got this right. You don't want to come back and do it. So 0, 0, 1.5, that's good. That's good. And that one is good also. And this one is good. One thing I want you to pay attention to, this number right here, 77. That's what we need to know because the, our outline are probably going to be 76. So let's click apply. And click close. And we should see our line here, but we can't see it. 
all we see is this Ford. Let's tip this a little bit, little bit different angle. Maybe we can see it there. Yeah. I'm going to get out of here, make it a line like that. There it is right there. It's H77. See it? So the number we talked about, H77. You want to highlight that H77 and it's highlighted. You can see this in dark blue. Make sure that is the one you want. Remember I told you, remember the number? It's H77 and it's highlighted. Then once you're in this mode, come back over here. Let's give it a thickness. You go in this command right here. So thickness, you click on that. Let me delete all the stuff I got right here. Cut this, and yes, and we're gonna make a new one. All right, where'd it go? It's on the other screen. Let me bring it over here. Now we have, uh, uh, we're gonna give it a 10 inch thick. We're gonna put our concrete deck will be 10 inch, and it's gonna be constant. So uh, um, come down here, and the material, gotta be the concrete, you can click here and you can see there's a host of other material right here. So let's just go ahead and make sure we're just selecting a concrete here. If I can find it. It was here a second ago. Uh, just concrete right there. There we go. And I come back in. Uh, um, everything looks good. Looks good. So click add. And let's close this one. And make sure, don't click any way away. I want still this to be highlighted right here and you make sure your arrow is still down here while you're in this mode go over here go over on this side click on this look like a book it says panel click on this panel and when a panel opens up make sure down panel you have the reinforcement for a uh, concrete so there is a other option i want to say yeah reinforce floor and uh shell yeah those everything good and click back on here and uh internal point make sure that's highlighted in green and then when you come in don't click anything yet you can see this line going around okay just click inside of here where you have selected inside of that blue line click anywhere there we go and let's close this out and click apply and close and let's see what we have done this is our bridge deck right there okay we have our bridge deck done and we're going to go ahead and uh, let's put a reaction, I mean, a reaction, let's put a, um, our bridge shoes or we can say or a, um, support system in here. So I'm going to come in here, click in the support right there. And uh, if your support is nothing here, it's okay, no worry, don't get nervous. Go up here, click new. And once you click new, this window opens up right here. And you can go ahead and uh, put your reaction in. So if you if you have a, for example, fixed uh, end, uh, fixed, fixed support, that means you check your X, Y, Z. If you want to do a pin, you just check Y and Z. And if you want to do roller, you only check Z. Okay? And that's how I have done these. So now I'm going to go ahead and click pin. I'm going to put a pin on this side, this corner here. And then I'm going to go ahead. I want to put a roller on the other end because we like that move. So let's move it around. Um, see if you can put a roller there, how it looks. Okay. So now we have uh, done with our support. Let's close down here and put our shape back in here. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at this again. There it is. Let's kind of look inside underneath it. And there's the underneath. It look good. They look good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are rolling that's good next thing we're going to do which is not going to be easy it's going to be we're going to go ahead and put the um, a cross frame on top and uh, take it from there so one we, we talked about we want to go ahead and put a cross frame in from here to there and also come down five feet but in order to do that we'd like to know where this point is and we did talk about that in a minute uh, in uh, on a board so we bring this over here I'm going to go ahead and go select bar. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, uh, 12 by 65. And uh, put this out of the way. Put one right here. And put one right there. And the next one I'm going to put in, I don't know the coordinate, but we know it was uh, 7.5. Point zero zero, and 
0 0.00 comma and then the, it was 20 feet high 0 0.00 so and then the uh, the other side is going to be same thing 7.500 comma go 30 feet the other side 0 0.00 comma 20.00 0 .00. because when I come back down 20 that way the vehicle has plenty uh, height to go underneath the bridge so I'm gonna go ahead and say okay seven okay I made a mistake yeah it's all right maybe we'll do see it won't let me do it because I uh, put too many zero there so I'm gonna try it over again computer is smart 7.50 comma 0, 0.00 comma and 20.00 the next line is going to be uh, 7.50 comma 30.00 comma and uh, 20 point oops made a mistake again okay let's clean it out 7.50 comma 30.00 comma and uh, 20.00 Let's take a look at it, make sure we got this wrong. Yes, 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 we got it right, we got it right, we got it right. Click add. And there's our beam right there. And I want to put a cross frame in there, so let's put a, like, a beefy cross frame there. Go back and select a uh, uh, simple bar is fine. Uh, L, 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 5 by 5 by 0.75. And we're going to put it right here. Click one right there. Click one right here. And click one right here. And there's the other one and let's close this out for a second just take a look what we have done and you can see our bar is right here it's kind of hard to see with all that stuff going on and now we're going to do this for every section going along here uh, because this one right here we have a tapered in right here so we really cannot copy and and paste over there now we got to make one for here and these vertical then we can go ahead and uh, and uh, copy. So I'm going to go ahead and tip this down a little bit so I can see the vertical better and line them up. All right, we did this. I want to put one right here, one there. Come back and select the same simple bar right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to what we had, W1265. See right here, just put your mouse right there and don't uh, make a click. And write that was coordinate down, which is I'm going to write it down. It's uh, 20.00, that means it's in direction x is 20, 30 feet on the other side, we know that. And what I want to know is that 26.25. So I want to put a bar 5 feet below that. And then I'm going to come back and put one in there. So I'm going to come in here, I wrote those numbers down, and what I wanted was uh, uh, 20.00, comma, and that's an x direction and 30 which is on the other side zero comma then it finally is was 2625 I'm gonna make it minus 5 so it'll be 2125 21.25 and go on the other side which would be 20.00 comma 0, 0.00 comma and 21.25 double check your number looks good looks good and click add and there's that bar now I want to put a bar on top right here so I'm going to go ahead and put one up here and put one up, uh, let me turn it around a little bit so I can see it better. And put one up here and bring this down a little bit and turn it a little bit. There it is right here. Okay, we see the bar right there and I got to put a cross frame on it. So I'm going to go ahead and select L5 by 5 right here, click on that and click on this corner. A little bit tedious but we can do it click on here and click on there and hit close and see if you can see it better a little bit might have to uh, you can see it right there and there it is which is easier I think it's easier to see it this way so now we have done this I want to go ahead and now uh, let's turn down this sideway make a small little bit okay I want to put one in here one in here and all the way through so uh, come back in here, let's turn it on sideways. I'm going to click this one and control button, hit the control, hit control, and whoops, come back here, where do you go? And uh, select all, 
Oop, I did that. Okay, so all four number is selected. And you can see right there. And so I want to duplicate this here on this upright and on this upright and see if we can do that. Again, hit edit and come in here, move and command. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and move it over once right here and click over here and did it. So click over here and click over there. Did it. Okay, now because our slope is changed, I don't think it's going to do it for the next one, but I'm going to give it a try anyway. Click here, click here. I was right, it wouldn't do it. Okay, I'm going to undo that one. And now we have to basically do this manually. Start from here and then copy back the other way. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so I don't have to make the video too long. Okay, now our model is complete. Let's go ahead and put some load on this thing. We're going to go ahead and uh, on the right side, uh, click on uh, load uh, type. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to add a dead load first. And then we're going to add a wind load. Okay, let's close out of here. Before we're going to put movie load, let's put a, a, a control line in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and click control line. We know that. And let's select uh, right here in this point right there. And click go all the way to the other end. And hit apply. Control line has not been detected. Okay, we're going to make a polyline. So I'm going to go ahead and click right here. And click on this end. And hit apply close out of here and now we have this our bridge deck you can look like it you can see it and we're gonna go ahead and uh, add the moving load so come up here type loads and get down here special loads and go to moving load and from here we have a variety of uh, loads and if you click new right here you can see uh, you have uh, Astros, which is a design vehicle for uh, um, bridges. And let's just pick H15, which already we have right here. Let's click OK. I already have that. I'm going to go with this load right here. Now we got to name it. Let's name it uh, uh, Moving Load. H15. And let's define it. Where is it going from? Okay, we're going to say it's going to go from this point we just made and all the way to this point right there and click apply. Okay, close out of here. So uh, go back to uh, where we put the dead load on. And we had a dead load, which this kind of program is smart enough. It can do it itself. And we're going to go ahead and uh, do a wind load one. And let's put a wind load on a, a top cord right here. So uh, go ahead and uh, close out of here. I think we applied this. Then we close out of here. There. Yeah, it's right there. So make sure you hit apply so you get this right here. And we're going to go on win load 1. And let's go to your load uh, definition right here. And we're going to come in here, click on bar, and click on this bar here. And I'm going to go ahead and put uh, um, 100 pound per, f uh, per, fo per uh, foot on uh, this uh, top cord. And that's going to be right here. So it's going to be in a wide direction. And let's add that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on right here. And I'm going to click on right here. And apply, close. And you can see the low right here. Whoops, where'd it go? I lost my. Okay, let's our, our load. There it is. And let's put a number on it. Uh, show number. There is the number. Okay. So if we change it, you can see from the top. And there's our one load. And he's applying to it. Okay. So now we got everything. Let's keep your finger crossed and see if it's going to work. So we're going to go ahead and do the result. Uh, let's run the calculation. Hope everything come out okay. 
All right, it says the instability in type 2 detected and node 20 in direction RY. Do you want to continue? No, no, let's fix that. Um, what we did wrong here, node 20. Node 20 is, yeah, okay, I see that. So node 20 is right here. And the NY direction, oh, of course. Um, let's put some diagonal bracing on top here. If we do node 20, that means node this node also need to be uh, taken care of. So I'm going to go ahead and hit bar here. And let's put a diagonal bracing on top. Oh, let's make this a little bit higher so you can see it better. Click right here. Click right here. There's one. There's the other one. Okay, let's put one on this bay too. Last bay here. Okay, hopefully that didn't cause any issue. Probably to push put all of them here, it won't hurt anyway. Uh, let's double check, see how we look, what we got here. Okay, let's run a review. Yeah, okay. Okay, one warning. So that's good. We go right here. And now we can look at the result. Is uh, uh, we go ahead and click result right here. And then you can use a diagram for uh, bars. And we can see our result. Let's go to name and hit the moment. See what we're going to get for that. Normalize. Apply. Close. So I turn it different ways. That just do 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 to a win load, and let's change it to a simple case. See what happened. Woo! You can see all kind of stuff going on here. But one thing you can do, you can go ahead. Um, let me uh, go back to my result and check that. Let's go to a. TV to the view and I want to see what the member forces are um, let's go to the parameter oh, parameter okay and distinguish between tension and compression label it and apply it see what we have Okay, this member is stressed out a little bit here, so it's pretty good. This is there's a lot of stuff here. We can go ahead and check your the result. Depend what kind of job you're doing, really, you can go through here and check everything. And another thing you can find out is if you go through the table here, and through this table you can find out all the stresses. Let's kind of see the stresses if you can find them. Stresses where are you? Loads. Okay, click on stresses right here, and click OK. And there's all your full stresses you can go through this and to get out of here just go ahead click right here and um well light um just exit out and there it is and uh depend again what you're analyzing for and uh, once you got to this point you can go ahead and analyze it from different things and come back and change your member change your connection to make it sure that it works for you. Uh, I hope this video was uh, useful to you and if it was please uh, subscribe. Thank you.